Tesla says the Model S Plaid is the quickest accelerating car in production today, and they claim the Model S Plaid has the quickest 0 to 60 miles per hour time and quarter mile acceleration of any production car ever. The Plaid has a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 1.99 seconds, and the Plaid Plus has a 0 to 60 time of less than 1.99 seconds if you believe the order page. Unfortunately, these numbers are deceiving, and the real 0 to 60 is likely above 2 seconds. The Tesla Model S Plaid won't hit 60 miles per hour in 2 seconds, and in this video, we'll discuss rollout, Tesla's actual 0 to 60 time, the theory, and what today's theoretical limit on 0 to 60 miles per hour is. If you're familiar with Tesla, then you're well aware that nearly all of its cars have performance numbers that rival most supercars. Musk announced during Tesla's Battery Day event on September 20th that the Model S will have a top speed of 200 miles per hour and run 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2 seconds. The car was also said to have a driving range of over 520 miles, and that the range-topping electric sedan will also be capable of running the quarter mile in under 9 seconds. When the Model S was first introduced, it had just a single motor powering the rear wheel. An all-wheel drive version with a motor for each axle arrived later, and is currently the only configuration available for the Model S. With the advantage of a third motor and torque vectoring, which is the ability to control what speed the wheels on the opposite sides are doing, provides some fascinating handling position. The Model S Plaid and Plaid Plus are set to be the two fastest vehicles in their range, and possess more than 1,000 horsepower, or 735 kilowatts, because of their tri-motor setup. However, there is already a controversy around at least one of the Plaid's performance claims, the 1.99 seconds to 0 to 60 time. That figure is achieved with a rollout of one foot, meaning the electric timers didn't start until the car has already gone one foot down the track, enough to get up as much as 6 miles per hour by some estimates. Numerous car magazines use one-foot rollout in testing, and some are rumored to use a three-foot rollout. Rollouts are semi-established. In drag racing, it's called shadow staging. Therefore, the 1.99 seconds makes as much sense as any testing claim. Another part of the problem with the 0 to 60 miles per hour time is the inconsistency and inaccuracies that come with manufacturing claims. Tesla, when announcing its Model S Plaid, claimed to make the quickest production car on the planet, and this led to a debate about what defines a production vehicle. The Ferrari LaFerrari and Porsche 918 both put down equals 0 to 60 times, but Tesla claims that they don't count because they're low volume specialty vehicles. At first glance, that 0 to 60 miles per hour time Tesla posted for the Model S Plaid added a lot of wow factor. The thought of going from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in just two seconds sounds insane. Anything less than that seems almost impossible. However, it's not a surprise that whenever gadgets and cars are spawned from the brain of Elon Musk, anything is possible. Engineering Explained is a pro-Tesla channel with about 3 million subscribers who owns and drives a Tesla car, and has made quite a few fawning videos for Tesla. Engineering Explained did some digging into Tesla's fine print and found that Tesla's 0-60 to 60 times are recorded while not using the first foot of rollout, meaning that the car is already at 10 kilometers an hour by the time the recording starts. There was an asterisk next to the acceleration times for the Model S Plaid and the Model S Plaid Plus when you click on the Features Detail button on the Model S pricing page. The asterisk points out that the first foot of rollout is subtracted, which John Fenske of Engineering Explained said changes things a bit. With this single foot, the Model S can knock out around 0.2 seconds off its time, meaning that in a real-world scenario, a sub-2 seconds 0-60 to 60 time is still unachievable. According to Fenske, Tesla most likely posted that the Model S Plaid Plus could get from 0-60 to 60 miles per hour in less than 2 seconds for marketing purposes, and then hit its fine print accordingly. However, it's technically not misleading, as the automaker did not reveal the caveat, and Honestly, most buyers won't care or even notice. On the Tesla's New Zealand site, the Plaid's 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time is listed as 2.1 seconds. And considering that it equals 62 miles per hour, the same questionable marketing is probably at play here also. In a comment, Engineering Explained mentioned that this real-world figure is probably closer to 2.3 to 2.4 seconds. And while a 2.3 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time is still blisteringly fast, 
it hasn't got the same ring as a sub 2.1 second time, and is rather misleading. Fenske says that he has three major problems with Tesla's method of hiding the fact that rollout was used in achieving the two seconds zero to 60 time. Most people have no idea what rollouts are, and technically they shouldn't have to. The information was hidden in the details section and not shown on the main Model S order page. And it was shown that Tesla doesn't use the same method of recording zero to 60 times for more expensive models. In so doing, Tesla gives the false impression that there are a wider gap of zero to 60 times between the performance and plaid models, and their respectively less expensive counterparts than what actually exists. Dan Edmonds, a longtime auto journalist and a suspension specialist who has been testing and reviewing cars for a very long time, also added on Twitter that using rollout in quoting zero to 60 times isn't a new phenomenon, and he actually called it quote, flat out lying to the consumer. One important point is that the magazines and most OEMs make it very clear that they're using rollout when they publish figures that use it. According to some calculations, it's possible for a production car to hit that time in theory, but it technically hasn't been done yet. And aside on the difference between quick and fast, a quick vehicle is one with a low zero to 60 miles per hour time, like the Tesla Model S 100D's claim less than 2.5 seconds. Like the Tesla Model S P 100D's claimed 2.5 seconds. A fast vehicle is one with a high top speed, like the 258 miles per hour on the Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Supersport. The Veyron with a zero to 60 miles per hour time of 2.5 seconds is also a quick car, but the two metrics don't necessarily go hand in hand. In the real world, acceleration is usually done when merging onto a highway or passing someone in the next lane. Neither situation has a lot to do with how quickly the car would move from a complete stop. Another part of the problem with the zero to 60 miles per hour time is the inconsistency and inaccuracies that come with manufacturer claims. Some supercars that can accelerate under four seconds to 60 miles per hour prove that you can't feel the tenth of a second difference in acceleration. It is even illegal in most places to do an acceleration like that. The citation is usually called, quote, show of speed or racing or simply driving to end danger. The issue at the heart of the problem is the fact that Tesla uses rollout to achieve the claimed sub two seconds, zero to 60 miles per hour time for the new model S Plaid and S Plaid Plus. In other words, it's not a zero to 60 miles per hour. It's more like a 60 to 60 miles per hour since the Plaid and Plaid Plus will likely have accelerated to six miles per hour by the time they've traveled the one foot rollout and Tesla's stopwatch starts. As technology keeps improving and vehicles get more powerful and sophisticated, zero to 60 miles per hour times will continue to tout the number as somehow more special and important than every other vehicle testing metric. Really though, the test has little bearing on what a vehicle would do if an owner decides to find a quiet, straight road and set a time of their own. So the next time you see a claim or even a real test showing a zero to 60 miles per hour time is 0.2 seconds quicker than a car by default, it might not be quicker in real life. Perhaps Tesla will create a car that can break this performance.